Many cardiologists see patients with chronic kidney disease, and we must make decisions concerning complex therapies, such as valve replacement, without being actually able to tell what our patient's prognosis is concerning his or her renal disease. Now in JAMA, however, researchers report a study combining creatinine, cystatin C, and urine albumin creatinine ratio to model risks associated with chronic kidney diseases compared with creatinine alone. The primary outcomes measured were exactly what cardiologists are looking for when we assess our patients, the incidence of end-stage renal disease and all-cause death. The researchers found that by adding cystatin C to creatinine and albuminuria for risk prediction could more accurately reclassify persons and distinguish important prognostic differences, namely a threefold risk of death and a fourfold risk of end-stage renal disease. Cystatin C and albuminuria were both strongly and independently associated with all-cause death among persons with or without chronic kidney disease defined by creatinine-based estimated GFR. The results suggest that a triple marker approach using both albumin creatinine ratio and cystatin C more accurately discriminates prognosis for death and progression to end-stage renal disease than creatinine and albumin creatinine ratios alone. In an accompanying report in the same journal, another model for progression of kidney disease was also evaluated. In that model, more variables were used, but they were also more easily available for medical records, age, sex, GFR, albuminuria, serum calcium, phosphate, bicarb, and albumin. In the validation cohort, this model was more accurate than a simpler model that included age, sex, GFR, and albuminuria alone. These reports are only the first step, obviously, and clearly more information from prospective validation trials are needed. But I am delighted that this issue is now on the front burner. We need these kinds of risk models to help us prioritize treatment strategies for our cardiac patients. I'm Peter Block with the CardioSource Heart Minute.